Hey guys, this is Angel bringing you another video. Uh, this time, yes, it is that time of the year where you're supposed to be starting your uh, seed, uh, your, your seeds. And what I, I'm going to be using is, uh, is a seed starting uh, potting mix. I don't have a brand uh, preference, but uh, I always use either Jiffy or this miracle grow and um, I always have uh, lots of success with either one. Right now the uh, date is January 7th 2019 on a Monday and I just got home from work and I decided to do this because you want to be ahead of the game. So basically what I do is um, you want to grab uh, this like little six pack and you want to empty them and a little container like this so they can be uh, pre-moist and so you don't waste any of this uh, product you want to count the trays uh, that you're going to be needing and just empty them that way you don't have excess uh, uh, pre-mix and then you, you know you can have to throw it away afterwards so this is how i do it and right now the date is uh, january 7th 2019 on a Monday and I'm gonna bring you along with all the uh, process another thing that you're gonna be needing is a mini greenhouse in this case I'm gonna be using this tray that um, I got from um, uh, low uh, Costco and this one is the one that they have uh, the uh, croissant croissants uh, I think I paid like $5.95 for the package of croissants and I kept the, um, the tray so I can be used it, so I can uh, reuse it and this is going to be my little uh, greenhouse as you can see this one you can close it and you can snap it closed just to keep the uh, moist inside and the uh, humidity and I usually buy the trays uh, the seed starting kit from uh, Walmart but right now I didn't have time to stop at Walmart, so I'm gonna be using this tray, and um, it should work just fine. They wanna, they're only gonna be here for probably no more than two weeks before they get uh, transplanted into uh, um, individual uh, pots, individual cups that I usually do. Okay, so now that we have our trays, our um, uh, potty mix my seed starting uh, mix all moist so you can see nice and squishy you want to make sure that it's nice and um, damped not not super wet but enough where you can just grab it with your hand and you're gonna see a couple of uh, drips coming down your hand that's when you know that your starting mix is ready one thing that I forgot to mention is that you want to make sure that everything is super clean. I make sure to uh, rinse off and actually wash it, scrubbed it with uh, soap, and I make sure that uh, there was no that the, all the oily stuff from the uh, croissant came off. I removed the stickers, and I also made sure that the uh, these trays right here were super clean these are actually brand new you want to make sure that when you start your seed make sure to do it on brand new trays they're not expensive you can buy big packs uh, off of ebay you know they're they cost you almost nothing so another thing that i forgot to mention is that you don't want to go too crazy or over excited and starting all kinds of plants in January unless uh, you own a big property and you have a big big uh, huge greenhouse otherwise if you over plant if you start too many uh, plants uh, too early um, you're gonna be killing lots of plants trust me I've learned the hard way myself last three four years I have killed so many plants because um, you know they they took over my little uh, uh, growth tent that I have in the back and um, I took them out in the yard like the middle of March or beginning of, of April and it was still too windy, too cold. 
So right now I'm just going to concentrate on starting my uh, tomato seeds. I'm going to be growing the, um, the same thing that I grew last year. But uh, this time around, I'm going to also grow the, um, I think they call it the uh, yellow golden tomato, the cherry tomato. I'm going to try that. Also the uh, German Johnson's, uh, Cherokee Purples, and a couple of other ones that I grew last year that I was very successful. I saved uh, lots of seeds, so I'll see what happens. I'm going to keep you guys updated on the, prog on the progress. These are some of the uh, seeds uh, that I grew back in 2017. These, uh, they might be a little old, but I'm going to give it a shot. I still have some from last year. And um, see, uh, like this one right here is the, um, I don't know if you can see it, that's the uh, German Johnson tomato, boxcar wheelie, and also the Cherokee purple. And the, um, it's very simple. Just like you have seen many, many uh, videos on YouTube, uh, just dump the seed and kind of like go in and push it, hide it, and then cover it up with the uh, seed star in soil. Spray it with a little bit of water and you're good to go. So that's why I don't want to spend too much time uh, showing you guys on how to um, start a seed. As long as you uh, make sure that your hands are very clean be before you touch the seed and that everything is clean that you use because you have to be so super delicate with your uh, new uh, seeds that you are starting and uh, i think i'm going to end this video but um let me uh see there's nothing else uh, so i'm going to keep you guys updated uh these uh, uh trays um they should be able to uh, they should be germinating within three to four, that seed should be able to germinate with probably with three to four days. And then after that, uh, once they uh, they develop the first set of uh, true leaves, uh, they're going to be transplanted into uh, eight ounces uh, cups that I'm going to be getting from Walmart. For that, I'm going to be diff uh, using a different type of soil. That I'm going to be uh, probably, uh, yeah, just using the America Grow, um, the uh, potting soil, premium stuff. And then uh, from that point, I'm gonna, they're going to be um, spending probably the next uh, month and a half inside my uh, grow tent under uh, 300 watts LED lights. So this is all I have for you guys for this video. Um, it's going to be a good year, 2019. I can, all, I can see it already. I have made many mistakes in the in the past uh, trying to start my seed, so that's the reason why I wanted to share uh, this video and make sure you guys don't make the same mistakes that I that I made in the past. Trust me, I have killed many many plants in the past, and um, hopefully uh, this year is gonna be an exception. So it was last year. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you have any comments, any uh, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.